Folks, in this video today, I'm gonna give you the exact reason why cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin are consistently selling off and are just not recovering. This is something that a lot of folks are not talking about and it's important for you guys as investors to understand what's going on. This video will give you a breakdown as to the factors that are causing the sell off to happen. And I'll also go into some key levels that you guys have to pay attention to when it comes to Bitcoin prices. Is it gonna continue to sell off or are we gonna see a recovery at some point? Let's get right into the video. As I'm filming this right now, the price of Bitcoin is once again below 36,000 USD per coin. Ethereum is also showing a ton of weakness. It is currently below 2,200 USD per coin. The overall crypto market, as I'm filming this right now, is really not doing that well. It has to do with the US dollar. That's right, the US dollar. And I know a lot of you are probably scratching your head and you're thinking, what does the US dollar have to do with the weakness that we're seeing in cryptocurrencies? Well, let me tell you. Of course, over the past couple of weeks, we have seen a lot of weakness for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies in general, but this was further exacerbated by the Federal Reserve coming out and saying that they plan on increasing interest rates much sooner than a lot of people expected. And they would also end emergency bond buying much sooner than a lot of folks had anticipated. All this is dramatically affecting the price of cryptocurrencies as I speak. But let's go into a bit more detail so you have an understanding as to what's going on. This is something that you guys have to understand, especially if you plan on being in the crypto sector for a very long time. Bitcoin prices have a direct relationship to the strength of the US dollar. And this is incredibly important to everyone that's in this space because the global currency of choice is the USD, the US dollar. So this affects everyone in this space. You have to pay attention to this. And we can see this relationship directly. We can see that back in 2020, especially during Q2 and Q3, as the dollar declined, we saw prices of cryptocurrencies shoot upwards. This graph is gonna showcase this relationship perfectly for us. Now let's take a look at this chart so you have a better understanding as to what's happening between the price of Bitcoin and the price of the US dollar. The line in orange is gold. I don't want you guys to focus on the orange line. Let's focus on the blue line here, which is the US dollar, USD, and the black line, which is the price of Bitcoin, or you could also consider it to be the price of cryptocurrencies in general. At the start of the pandemic, as you guys can see, there's a very obvious relationship. As the price of cryptocurrencies drop, we see the price of the USD shoot upwards. The relationship is inverse. They basically go in opposite directions. If the US dollar goes up, the prices of cryptocurrencies drop. And we see this relationship beautifully. Now, as the pandemic continued to go on, we see that the price of the US dollar continues to weaken. It drops and drops and drops. Conversely, we see the price of cryptocurrencies, they continue to rise, 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 they go opposite. If the US dollar goes down, cryptocurrencies go up. And we see the same thing once again here around the August level. The US dollar continues to weaken and it drops. And of course we see the prices of cryptocurrencies, they shoot upwards. This is a beautiful representation of what's happening. But let's go further. We know that this happened in 2020, but I need to find a bit more information to make sure that this is actually reliable for us. So let's dig a bit deeper. We also see a beautiful relationship back in 2016 and also in 2017. Let's take a deeper look into this graph. Even if we go all the way back to 2014, to the start of 2013 to let's say mid 2014, the US dollar as it weakened, we saw the prices of cryptocurrencies shoot upwards. Conversely, as the US dollar shoots upwards, we see the prices of cryptos, they continue to drop and basically just, they're neutral. There's not a lot of activity there. Up here, we see the prices of the USD weaken and it drops. And of course, we see the prices of cryptocurrencies, they shoot upwards and the relationship just continues to go on. So we know with reliable confidence that the prices of the US dollar and cryptocurrencies, they go opposite together. So how does this apply to what's happening today? We know for the longest time, because the US dollar was continuing to lose its power and becoming weaker and weaker, people wanted to protect themselves from these losses and they relied on cryptocurrencies to protect them. So we saw as the US dollar continued to drop in value, we saw a lot of that money being shifted into safe haven assets like Bitcoin, like Ethereum, like Deutschcoin, believe it or not, a lot of that money shifted into that space and we saw an explosion in prices in a very short amount of time. Problem is, since last week, the Federal Reserve says that they plan on increasing interest rates much sooner than a lot of people have expected. This is really good news for the US dollar. It means that the US dollar is gonna see strength within the next couple of months. This is gonna be slightly problematic for cryptocurrencies, but is the US dollar actually reacting the way that it should be to this news? It's doing exactly that. We're seeing a significant spike in the USD. Let's take a look. 
This is the US dollar against the Canadian dollar. Since I am in Canada, this is a great way for me to understand this relationship. As you guys can see, over the past year, we see that the US dollar was continuously dropping and dropping and dropping and dropping up until basically a couple of days when we got news that the US Treasury planned on increasing interest rates much sooner than a lot of people had expected. And of course, we see a beautiful spike upwards in the price of the US dollar. And granted, it's only been a couple of days. I do predict that this is going to continue to happen. The US dollar is gonna to continue to, to gain strength. And I do believe that we will continue to see weakness in cryptocurrencies. Let's recap very quickly so you have an understanding as to what's happening. Now, we know that the US dollar and Bitcoin trade in opposites. As the US dollar goes up, we know that the price of cryptocurrencies go downwards. Conversely, if the prices of cryptocurrencies go down, it means that the dollar is getting weakened. The reason for that is a lot of people are taking the money because they're losing when they hold in the USD. They're taking that money and they're shipping it into cryptocurrencies. We know that this relationship is true based on the charts that I provided you earlier. We know that this is happening right now, especially with the spike that we just got a couple of days ago. So what do we do with all this information? In the short term, this is going to cause some stagnation in cryptocurrencies. It might cause a continued drop in these prices as well. But in the long term, this is really nothing to worry about, guys. I do believe that we will see weakness, but it's not the end of the world. It's just part of the process. A lot of these cryptocurrencies have shot up over four digits in the past couple of months. It's normal for us to see some level of consolidation and some uh, relaxation in this market. It's needed. It's a good thing, especially for a market that's new, that's growing, that's expanding, that's innovating. It's just part of the process. This is the price of Bitcoin as I'm speaking. It's around $35,560. The website that I'm using is called tradingview.com. This is a free website for a lot of you guys to use. If you're new to this space, this is an awesome tool to get a bit more familiar with technical analysis and to understand the movement of these stocks, companies, commodities, and cryptocurrencies as well. This is the BTC against the US dollar. And what I want you guys to understand is over the past couple of months, we've seen a ton of weakness. We went from a high of around $64,000 per Bitcoin, and we're now currently at 35,000. In a previous video, I had set two levels for us. I had set a resistance level around the $40,000 psychological level, and I also set a support level around the $35,000 to $36,000 mark. We're currently trading at that level right here, and as you guys can see, based on the one-year view, we're getting very close to breaking that support level. Should we break this support level, Bitcoin will continue to drop slightly. Again, this is not the end of the world. This is just what the charts are telling us. And this isn't a crystal ball. There's no guarantee that this is actually what's going to happen. We use these charts to basically look back in history and gauge and possibly predict how a lot of these stocks and a lot of these prices are going to move in the future. The next level of support I want you guys to pay attention to. Over the next couple of days, we will get a better idea as to whether or not the sell-off is going to continue. This level right here in red, it's around the $31,000, $32,000 mark for Bitcoin. If we reach that level and we see a bounce at that level, it could it could potentially mean that the solve has stopped. But what I do want you to, I want to caution you about this. If we hit this level and we continue to see a drop, it means that Bitcoin could be in for a pretty significant correction. And again, this is really no guarantee. This is just based on what the charts are telling us. The next level that you guys have to pay attention to is going to be around the 31 to 32,000 USD mark. So please pay attention to that level. Overall, if we do see a bounce from that level, I do believe that we'll probably see uh, Bitcoin trade within this level right here. It should consolidate. I think for the most part, we've seen the sell off that we should have seen in Bitcoin. The market does seem a bit more relaxed and not as excited as it has been in the past couple of months. Consolidation is a good thing. Not seeing the price move. While I know it is frustrating, especially if you're invested in this space, it's part of the process. Overall, I want you guys to understand the relationship. All of this is because of the US dollar is gaining strength and cryptocurrencies are showing weakness. The relationship is there. We've seen this happen before. We will continue to see it happen. As I mentioned earlier in the video, it's just part of the process. Anyways, guys, want to keep this nice and brief. I hope you enjoyed and I wish you guys an awesome day. If you like the video, just give me a like. I appreciate that. See you in the next one.